Hi, I'd like to talk to you about how the Marine Corps reports on training, or Metals Light. This video is not an official or sanctioned product of talk. When the Marine Corps reports to Congress on what it can do for the country, it promotes five core competencies. A kick-butt attitude. When the phone rings, they'll go anywhere. The ability to go out and stay there. Expertise at fighting with every weapon they have, at the same time and the skills to knock down the door from the sea. Some smart marine working at the Death Star, or headquarters, broke down all the training standards by their functional groups, so units could focus on tasks important to them. These are called Mission Essential Tasks, or METs, and can be found in the Training and Readiness Manual for your functional area. Battalion size units can take their specific core METs and combine them with any assigned METs to create what's called a METAL, or Mission Essential Task List New commanders have 45 days to create the combined list for higher headquarters approval. And because core METs are assigned from the top, remember, they're all equal, so don't try to leave any out. However, commanders can defer training on a MET if they choose to. Just be ready to answer the mail if the boss disagrees. Once your medal is approved, build your training plan to provide guidance on areas of focus and a timeline for action. Way to go, three. Subordinate commands will plan to execute training off what you've made. Your training and readiness manual has broken down skills for every unit level. Individuals are 1,000 and battalions are 7,000. Check out your local library Dewey Decimal System to fill in the blanks. And here's the great part. Since some skills are required to conduct unit training, your company training can count towards individual development by chaining events. Talk about getting more bang for your buck. The end result is consistent skills development across the Marine Corps. So get out there, happy reading, and gung-ho, Marine.